Hey guys, it's Lena here, and today I want to share an amazing recipe with you. Um, I can confess that I don't cook very well. I don't really like cooking, and <laughs> I think uh, most of the times for me it's very boring, it doesn't go very well, and this is the type of cooking uh, only I can endure uh, upon myself. So if I cook something, well, I cook it only for myself. I, I just hate cooking for anybody else because um, I'm not sure about my cooking and most of the times it's like barely eatable. So, um, you know, this feeling that I'm not, I'm not a chef, I'm like... <laughs> I'm not talented, I don't have a special gift, but today I want to share with you um, an amazing recipe that came out so wonderfully that I think I just, I'm obligated to share it with the world. So let's get on with it. Um, maybe some of you know that I just love chocolate, I love chocolate cookies, and I also love cherries. So I can eat cherry almost anything. And uh, lately I discovered that I can eat even frozen cherries, just um, barely defrosted. So I just love them, eating them without any sugar, without any sweetener. I adore them. And so uh, lately I came across uh, one uh, cookie recipe and it was, it really surprised, uh, what surprised me that uh, it was very, very easy to make. And um, so I decided to join two of my favorite uh, ingredients, chocolate and uh, cherry in, in one recipe. So it's just, it's like, um, I will link down below the recipe, although it's in Russian, but maybe there are some English subs, or you can just translate uh, the info section. So this is like that recipe is inspired my version of that recipe. So anyways, I'll show you the result. Maybe it won't appear that beautifully, so it's not very insta-like. So this is um, what's left of it. The smell is amazing and you know just uh, to add a, a bit of a bit more content context so <laughs> lately i've been cooking a lot of cookies and i i've cooked chocolate chip cookies just chalk plain chocolate cookies and um, i've tried many different recipes and most of the times it was eatable so it was <laughs> good enough for me to eat, but it wasn't splendid. It wasn't something that I wanted to share with anyone, anybody else. But these ones, I think these are the best cookies I've tried in my entire life. And I'm so surprised because as you know already, I'm not a cook. I'm a very bad cook. And uh, to be amazed by, by something that I myself made it's like it's a miracle so anyways so they look like these i'll take one and show it to you so these are they look like i don't know maybe gingerbread with a filling or something like that and um so one of them cracked really seriously so you can see maybe a cherry I'll try to make it focus or not. So um, there is a cherry inside. And the, the recipe is very, very simple. So um, what you need, I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you step by step and I will uh, write it down in the info section as well. So um, you take um, round, 100 grams of butter. I used uh, spread, so it's uh, vegan butter. 
um, I prefer mainly prefer cooking with that in the oven because it doesn't really burn that much as a normal butter. So and um, 100 grams of butter or vegan butter and then add uh, 50 grams of sugar in the recipe in the initial recipe it was 80 grams but i found out that uh, when i see like the amount of sugar in the recipe it's very safe to, to cut it just in half because when i tried like uh, cutting like uh, one third of it it was awful so it was so much sugar i couldn't it was difficult to eat for me. So I, and uh, normally um, for the last month or so, I've been cooking uh, sweets myself. So I don't buy anything in, at the grocery store. So I, I think uh, like I, I don't like something very sweet. So everything that is uh, sold is too sweet for me. So anyways, uh, 100 grams of butter, uh, 50 grams of sugar, and you just, uh, and the butter should be soft, so uh, room temperature, and uh, you just mix it, mix it, like until it became, it becomes a, a paste, something like. Then you add, um, one egg. Um, my egg was like medium size, but I don't think that it matters that much because in that exact recipe, well, I did. I just um, I didn't really care about the exact scales of everything. So one egg, you mix it uh, with uh, butter and sugar. Uh, then I added. Um, vinegar so it's just plain uh, white vinegar just maybe a teaspoon of vinegar then i mixed it then i added um a half of a half of teaspoon of uh baking soda uh and i lately i found out that it's better to mix it in the whole mix, you know, to join uh, uh, soda and vinegar to make the reaction. Uh, and it is better to do it in the bowl uh, with other ingredients than to do it separately because you lose these uh, reaction bubbles, these oxygen oxygen bubbles. But anyways, it worked well. I don't, honestly, I don't think it matters that much. But anyways, I'm telling you my recipe, how I did it. So anyways. Um, then um, you add, so you added baking soda. You mix, you mix it, you mix it again. Then you add cocoa powder. Uh, it's 50 grams of cocoa powder. Um, I think I had like 44 grams, but it really doesn't matter. So around 50 grams of um, cocoa powder. Uh, without sugar, of course, it's like plain, good quality cocoa powder. And then you add around 120, 130 uh, grams of uh, plain uh, wheat powder. So I think that you can use, uh, maybe uh, combine some types of powder, but anyways, maybe in this recipe you need a bit of, uh, you know, this uh, sticky powder types. So it's like, <laughs> um, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I did. So you mix it up. So I think I spent maybe 10 minutes on, on the whole process. So it was very, very easy. And the thing I liked the most in, in this recipe that after you um, prepare, after, after you prepare the dough, you don't need to store it in some cool place in your fridge. You don't need to wait for half an hour, an hour, something like that. You can cook right away. So what I did, I uh, just uh, made some small, small uh, like circles of dough on my palm. So very, very easy with my fingers, like uh, this size maybe. And in the center, I put um, a cherry. So uh, before before I started uh, preparing the dough, I took frozen cherries out of the freezer and I just put them 
in a bowl so I di you didn't you don't need to defrost the cherries and you also you don't need cherries like in the first place so you can uh, add some chocolate chopped chocolate you can I think you can make them as they are without anything and uh, <laughs> something else I forgot so you also add uh, a pinch of salt in your dough because it's very good to combine uh, cocoa powder and salt so it's like chocolate and salt they just love each other but but just uh, like a small small tiny 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 pinch of salt so anyways um, so I make like circle shaped um, tiny pieces of dough I put a um, frozen cherry in the middle and I close the margins so in the end it looks like um, a bowl with um, cherry inside and I just round it a bit and they are like relatively this small so something like that and I just uh, put it on the tray greased with um, vegan butter so and um, I think uh, from that uh, amount of ingredients ingredients I had uh, 13 13 cookies and um, although I can't uh, tell you exactly how much time do you need to bake them, maybe around, so the temperature is uh, 180, 170. And if you are not sure, uh, from my experience, the lower the temperature is, the better, because it's safer uh, to cook them more than to fry them right away to burn them like to the ground and uh, I think uh, they were something like uh, maybe 10 minutes in the oven and they cook very fast because the uh, dough layer is it's very thin so because it's it has something inside it and also because it had um, mm, cherries they are very moist and they start to defrost inside they add this um, texture this moist texture to to the dough so it's it's not uh, it's not very dry because most of the times I made uh, cookies they, they came out dry like exceptionally dry like very short bready dry and I don't like um, I like when they snap if they are very thin, but if they are thick and dry, it's not a good cookie. So, anyways, um, this this is pretty much all, and um, I was amazed that uh, when I cooked them, I ate maybe one third of them right away, and this is not very typical for me because when I cook, when I normally cook, like eatable cookies I can eat like two or three of them and I will save I'll save something for later but these babies oh my god when I'm telling you about them I really want to eat them all up and okay anyways I hope that you enjoyed my like <laughs> storytelling recipe Mm, I'm not like I'm not a cook so I wasn't expecting that I don't know how to film um, cooking anything but anyways I just wanted to share this with you and I want to make this video to remember to commemorate the day I finally cooked something splendid yay <laughs> so anyways uh, have a nice day if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe see you in the next one bye bye